Cut. Today is March 13, 2018, 6 p.m. This, uh, this fancy mouse came, came in yesterday with a complaint of lump on the right thigh. Five days ago, the owner contacted Dr. Sing Kong Yen through email and WhatsApp. Then he advised her to come as soon as possible so that we can do and prevent infection. Okay. Continuing with the story, now the the owner had gone to another vet and the vet had uh, told her that the leg might have to be amputated. So she contacted me for a second opinion and also about the cost. Now the cost of the surgery will be around $300 because the tumor is so big and uh, it takes a longer time. If it's a small one, it should be much cheaper. But the owner waited until it's so big. Now, we have seen the, the mouse now. It's after surgery, you know, we turn, up, turn a bit here. And uh, actually, the leg does not need to be amputated because the tumor could be taken out from the side under the skin. I can see the leg is still there. And that's what the owner should be happy because when you amputate the leg, of course it's no good for the mouse. Now I need to sh show the surgery. Okay, the first one. This is pre-op. Okay. This top view. Top view. The side view actually. This mm -hmm. is also this side is view. The... No, it's considered a side view. Uh, under veterinary. Okay, this is, you can see the tumor. It's a big subcutaneous tumor. And it's probably four centimeter or more. The next one, uh, this is the, the other one after post op. No, uh, so this is the tumor removed. You can see what's the diameter? What's the 4 cm more than that, right? By 3 cm. Uh, it's, a, it's a big fatty tumor, and uh, you can see the mouse was given anesthetic Zolitil IM Zolitil 100 0.05 ml IM. Uh, it's a very effective anesthetic, anesthetic and it can be supplemented by isoflurane was any need to? Yes. There was need to supplement with isoflurane gas plus oxygen maintenance. The operation took, took about uh, 15 minutes and and uh, that was yesterday. Yeah? The operation was yesterday. Today. today. The operation was today and uh, you can see that uh, my assistant has taken a lot of pictures. This is quite a rare case. This is the of a, incision of a, is two centimeter. Two centimeter long. Yeah. It's just it's a bit uh, because of the, 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 the angle, the angle. The no, the lighting. Because she, my assistant didn't do a good lighting. No, upside down now. She she should have put it under the light when he took the photo. But anyway, you can see the real thing here. Now you can see. We are showing the sutured area, you see? It's above the hip area. It's not very clear because of the... Uh, no, never mind, I'll show the real one. Take, take away the cover. Yeah. Because I'm doing it through the through the glass. So it's not very uh, clear. But since we have the real, real, real mouse here, there's no point showing slides. So uh, take out, you can see from here. Uh, very uh, large inc incision. Also not very bright, but still better than because now it's evening time. Eh? Okay, so let's see the mouse walking or not. Let's see the leg is still there. So it's it's fortunate that the owner took the advice to to uh, come early. She wanted to wait till next week, but next week the the tumor might be infected and uh, the chances of survival will be very slim. Tumors that grow big can get can get uh, necrotic. It means can can become bad. The cells may, may, may die because the tumors are cancerous. So if you don't uh, operate soon and you delay, the tumor but may be infected and the mouse will be very weak. But as you can see now, the mouse looks okay. Goes off and that's what the owner wants. So it stays here overnight. Uh, one night right, or two nights and goes home tomorrow so 
for all, all mouse owners or even hamster, rabbits, guinea pigs, and uh, and dogs or cat owners. The smaller the cat, the better. Weighing about 27 grams, right? Post, uh, post, oh. So now we, we keep everything. We, we are going to. Uh, I, I hope that we are going to finish the video. Just to advise owners not to dilly dally. We are going to close the video and uh, look for a hamster vet or, or, the, or the vet that does surgery because not all vets do operations operations on uh, hamsters and uh, Topaya Vets is one of them so this one probably comes from the internet and uh, the, the lady uh, the young lady the lady was uh, was busy having shift work so she she couldn't make it but anyway she did send somebody down and it's all done okay we can we can finish it and go back to rest this is an educational video for mouse owners, fancy mouse or rats. Tumors are very common in mouse and rats and hamsters when they are older. This one is one, one year old. One year old. Male or female? Female. Female, yeah. Okay, you can go home already. Go back already.